William and I have something exciting to share with you. It's a journey on the monarch butterflies. Yep. And I'm going to turn it over to William and you tell him what we're up to, buddy. So, um, Nona and Ellie were the first um, founders of the monarch butterflies. And Nona um, planted the garden for the monarch butterflies. We've been um, working on our gardens and stuff for the monarchs. Other butterflies like swallowtails have come too. I'm going to tell you about the monarch butterflies. And first we're going to start out with a difficult word called entomology is the study of insects. Papa said, don't confuse with etymology, which is the study of words. Words are very important, and so are insects. So now we're gonna talk about the egg. You usually find monarch eggs on the underside of a milkweed leaf. Sometimes they will be on the top of the leaf. You will find two to three eggs on a leaf. They will be the size of a pinhead, probably. If, if you look at the egg with a magnifying glass, you, you'll see a football shape, a half football shape. You look for monarch caterpillars like this, and you just put them, pick up the leaf carefully. So these are just some ways to um, help you find monarch caterpillars and to help you with raising them. Monarch caterpillars um, are very sensitive, so we recommend you using a leaf. So um, the milkweed um, is poisonous, but the um, caterpillars are immune to it. So when they eat the milkweed, they're poisonous to other creatures, and they don't die. The size of a baby caterpillar the day it has hatched is no bigger than the size of the letters on a dime, which is very small. There are three caterpillars of different ages in this picture. Look closely at the leaf on the right with two holes. The middle one is usually about mm, six days old. Nona has read The Hungry Caterpillar to us many times. Um, I recommend you should read The Hungry Caterpillar to your kids, and it's a good book. I say it's about the stage of three and five year olds. Look at these caterpillars eating. They grow from a tiny size to the chrysalis stage in about 15 days. That's a lot of food for a caterpillar to eat. They eat about two, one to two leaves a day, and that probably would be 30 leaves in the lifetime of caterpillar stage, and that's really cool. So now we're gonna talk about the chrysalis stage. In the chrysalis stage, the caterpillar first climbs to the top of its container or the underside of a leaf and makes a protective layer where it remains for about 10 to 12 days. When the chrysalis begins to turn black and you see orange, the butterfly is about to emerge. But um, one recommendation um, is when the butterfly hatches, don't try to help it if it's struggling. It needs the struggle um, or the pressure like to make its wings work. So I would recommend not touching that. And I would actually not just recommend, I would say don't touch it. Once out of the chrysalis, the butterfly will hang upside down to dry its wings. There's a big word called metamorphosis and it's when something like a crawling caterpillar turns into this monarch butterfly. The dictionary defines metamorphosis as the change of physical form structure or substance 
especially by supernatural means. And the really cool thing is that we're in the super monarch stage. And in the fourth stage, there is a special um, monarch caterpillar that when it grows, it will um, fly all the way to Mexico for the winter. And not like the other um, butterflies who lay their eggs and die, it flies all the way to Texas to lay their eggs and die. And then the whole generation goes over, but it doesn't start at the fourth stage again from the um, super monarch. It goes back to the first. This has been our experience of Minnesota, and it's really great. Today, uh, we have had hummingbirds buzzing all around us. They, they're pretty fast. And, and they, one thing is that they're a pollinator, just like monarch butterflies. Bye. Definitely plant zinnia and milkweed, I think, would be the two tall zinnias and milkweed. I think that would be um, two good ones that my grandparents have in the garden. Thank, thanks for watching our video and supporting us. Um, I hope you'll be able to um, help the monarch butterflies to next year. And if you did this year, that's great. Thanks for watching. Bye.